Hi everyone, my name is Khalid and welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to teach everyone how to create a heart and uh, how to apply some effects to this heart. Uh, first thing you want to do is make sure Adobe Photoshop CS3 or CS4 is open. Click on File, New. Name the document Heart. Width 500 pixels, height 500 pixels, resolution 300 pixels per inch and also in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the pen tool. Um, click on view, show, grid and then click on the pen tool. Uh, make your first anchor point there, about there, 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 there and there. And then use the convert point tool. And then hold down the control key and move this anchor point up and also hold down the control key and move this anchor point up. Then select the anchor point and drag until you have a nicely made uh, rounded heart. There we have it. Okay, and then press Control Shift N to make a new layer. And then right click within the heart, choose Make Selection, Feather Radius set to 0. Click OK. And then go up to the Rectangle Marquee tool, right click within the heart, and choose Fill. And then choose a color. I'm going to use red. FF0000 Okay, and then press Control T to transform your, your image and press Enter when done then select the layer 1, press the Control key on your keyboard then select layer uh, background layer then either press V on your keyboard choose the move tool and then align vertical and align horizontal centers. Okay, once you're done with that, uh, choose layer 1, right click on layer 1 and choose blending options. Uh, apply a drop shadow, make sure angle is set to 90, distance is set to about 10 and size of it is set to about 25. Then choose the inner shadow tool. Set this to about 25. Set the choke. Uh, leave the choke for now. Set the size to about 50 and the choke to about 45 or maybe less. Set this to about 15 the choke to about 35 and set that to about 50. Then choose bevel and emboss. Size, uh, let's see, uh, uh, inner, that's an inner. Yeah, let's go ahead and use an inner bevel. And we're going to use, technique is going to be smooth. 
depth is going to be 100. Direction is going to be up. Size is going to be 25. And soften is going to be 16. And make sure gloss contour is set to uh, ring. There's also other types. We can preview preview them now. I like this one. I like that one. So I like it on the default one, which is uh, linear. And then you could also apply a satin, which I'm not going to right now. Also apply a gradient, a gradient overlay. And I'm not going to use the gradient overlay either. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Press Control. Oh, I'm sorry. Press. Go up to View, Show, Grid, Uncheck Grid, and then choose your horizontal type tool. And for now, I'm going to use a Harlow Solid Italic font. Um, the size of it is 10 points, and the outer edges are sharp. I'm going to drop shadow, distance of 1, uh, size of 5, outer glow, let's set this to white outer glow, and inner shadow, distance to 1, size to about 2. Click OK to accept. And then um, left click on hard then press the control key and then left click on layer 1 press the V key on your keyboard to choose the move tool align vertical and then align horizontal there you have it um, thank you very much for watching I, I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial my name is Khalid and have a great day bye bye